morning, everyone. Last week of July. Today I'm teaching from home since I'm heading to the college after this and I only have half an hour. So from Lake Mary to DeLand, I can do it. All right, so whoever's checking in now, make sure you have your mat ready. We are going to use a bolster. And if you want, we can also use a pillow for the yoga nidra portion. Hi, Ava. Good morning. So let's start this class, shall we? It's gonna be nice and relaxing. I downloaded a new uh, playlist, all, uh, it's called Yoga Nidra, so it's very apropos, very relaxing for this restorative yoga. All right, and this week you might see me from different locations because um, I'm finally taking a break and I'll be teaching from Myrtle Beach since I'm driving up. All right, take care, let's enjoy this class.
stretch the arms overhead, deep breath. Exhale, bring the arms down. Three more, inhale, raise the arms up. Exhale, bring the arms down. Two more, inhale, bring the arms up. Exhale, bring the arms down. One more time. Good. Bend the elbows 90 degrees. Tops of the hands on the floor. Soles of the feet together in butterfly. All right. With your eyes closed, focus on the deep 6363 breath. We will do a cycle of three. Inhale for six.
Bring that right foot up to the ceiling, left hand between the thighs. Interlace both right and left hand behind the right knee. Four deep breaths.
are ready, take a deep inhale, raise the arms up. Exhale, prayer position. And let's set the intention for the rest of today's practice. I release all negativity. I embrace peace and serenity. I release all negativity. I embrace peace and serenity. I release all negativity. I embrace peace and serenity. Palms overhead, three deep breaths. Nice. 
sit straight and work your way down. Four deep breaths here. Your eyes, spine nice and straight. 
five deep breaths here. deep shoulder stretch. So take the hands, interlace the fingers, hands behind you. Okay, we've already stretched the hips, so this should be easy, hopefully. You're going to lean forward and bring the arms over to there. And now work your way back up, good. All right, bend the elbows 90 degrees. Take the elbows right by the body. And this is a postural exercise working on the shoulder blades. All the muscles, the rhomboids, uh, all the muscles in the upper back are getting activated here. But the key element is keeping the shoulders away from the ears. And now, taking the palms all the way out to the side of the body, away from the midline. And now bring the palms back to the midline, okay? The breath is as follows. Inhale to prep. Exhale, slowly bring the palms away from the midline. Inhale, return. Exhale, go back. Inhale, return. Exhale, bring the palms away from the midline. Inhale to the center. Exhale. 
exhale away. Inhale to the center. Exhale away. One more time, working on that posture. Inhale to the center. Exhale away. Beautiful. Cactus arms, 90 degrees. Last shoulder exercise, here we are. We will bring the fingertips from the ceiling to the floor. Hinging straight up only from the shoulder joint. The elbows, no big deal, they stay at 90 degrees. So fingertips facing the ceiling, fingertips facing the floor. Keep going, inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Chin, 
I am calm, I am peaceful. I am calm, I am peaceful. I am calm, I am peaceful. Throat chakra. I am calm, I am peaceful. I am calm, I am peaceful. I am calm, I am peaceful. Heart chakra, sternum area. I am calm, I am peaceful. I am calm, I am peaceful. I am calm, I am peaceful. Solar plexus power chakra. I am calm, I am peaceful. I am calm, I am peaceful. I am calm, I am peaceful. Find your belly button, two fingers below sacral chakra. I am calm, I am peaceful. I am calm, I am peaceful. I am calm, I am peaceful. Root chakra. I am calm, I am peaceful. I am calm, I am peaceful. I am calm, I am peaceful. Good, stretch the legs out and tap it all out. Tap the legs, belly back, upper back, chest, arms, shake it all out. Stress be gone. Okay, keep the arms out transverse. All right, I'm gonna do a spinal twist. Inhale to prep. Exhale, turn it over to the right, keeping the arms apart. Transverse. Inhale, bring it back. Transverse, horizontal, whichever terminology you want to use. Exhale to the left. Good. And again, inhale, return to the center. Exhale to the right. Inhale, return to the center. Exhale to the left. Good. Eagle arms, Garudasana arms. Bend the elbows 90 degrees. Take this left hand underneath the right elbow. Palms face each other. Inhale and exhale. Draw the chin to the chest. Rotate that left ear to the left shoulder. Chin to the chest. Rotate that right ear to the right shoulder. Chin to the chest. Good. Unravel the arms. And now take the right hand underneath the left elbow. Palms face each other. Inhale and exhale. Chin to the chest. Rotate that left ear to the left shoulder. Chin to the chest. Right ear to the right shoulder. Chin to the chest. Good. Keeping the feet flexed, bring the arms up. Hinging from the hips, forward bend. Reach for the toes. Four deep breaths here. slowly come up. Place your left foot to the inner right thigh. Take your left hand to the right foot. Bring the arms up and hinge from the hips as you reach forward.
together. Take the hands to the feet and hinge forward. Four deep breaths.
the hands over to the left side. Walk the hands over to the right side. Take the hands to the feet. 
feet. Open the knees out. Happy baby, rock back and forth. Good, release the feet down. Next is an easy inversion, sleeping tiger. Take the bolster right underneath your lower back by your sacrum and tailbone. If you don't have a bolster, a pillow should suffice. As long as it's a big pillow, so you can really have that angle and create space for your lower back. Bring the feet up, arms up. You can wiggle your fingers and toes. If you want to turn it into a stretch, you can open up the legs and stretch the inner thighs. You can turn it into a meditative practice, focusing on the breath, quieting the mind, and just focusing on the breath. We're going to hold this pose for about a minute or two, so get nice and relaxed, reversing the blood flow. Bring the awareness to the lower legs, the knees, 
knees and thighs. Squeeze those muscles tight. Take a deep inhale. As you exhale, relax the thighs. Bring the awareness to the hips. Squeeze the gluteal muscles, the buttocks. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, relax the hips into the ground. Let them just fall away. Let go of tension. Now, bring that awareness, your body awareness, to your tummy area, to your abdomen. Take a deep inhale, hold that breath in the belly. Now, open the mouth, big sigh, let it out. Now take that breath and bring it all the way up into the chest and rib cage and hold. Big sigh, let it out. Now go ahead and take the deepest breath from the belly to the chest and rib cage, all the way up to the collarbone and hold. Let it out. Come to the hands. Go ahead and lift the hands up. Squeeze. Make a tight, tight fist. Inhale. Stretch those fingers out. Exhale. Release and let go. Come to the shoulders. Lift the shoulders up towards the ears. Take a deep breath. Exhale, let it go. Come to the facial muscles. Squeeze and squint the face tight. Stretch the face, open the mouth. Stick out the tongue. Release and let go. Let go and allow. Allow the body to relax. Let go of tension and scan the body now from head to toe. And bring that consciousness, your awareness, to a particular space that still gives you trouble. It doesn't have to be a physical space. It could also be an energetic space. Perhaps you're stuck in your thoughts, in your mind, and worries. Then bring your consciousness there. Take a deep breath. Let go of the thoughts. Or perhaps you're dealing with grief and you feel deep, deep grieving in your heart. Bring the awareness to that space. Exhale and visualize releasing all those emotions, letting it release. It's okay to release. If it's actual physical pain, like a shoulder or a hip, Again, bring the awareness to that space. Consciously try to let go of the physical tension, whether it's a tendon, a muscle, a joint. Imagine the joint having more space if it's arthritic. Visualize that space. See the open space and not the bony area that's rubbing against each other, the bony area. It's just nice cartilage. Visualize that healthy joint. Visualize the best version of yourself now. Completely filled with vitality, physically, mentally, emotionally balanced. Filled with physical energy. Connect with the breath. Be mindful of the breath. Get into the rhythm of it. Breathe in. Out. If there's still some negative thoughts, dark energy, take a deep breath. Exhale, release. If there's still mental chatter and your mind is wandering back and forth, see your thoughts as clouds. Watch them float away. Now awaken your true peaceful self, the soul. 
see your soul at the top of a mountain. It is a desolate place. It is only you admiring the creation around you. It is peaceful. There are birds that surround you. Breathe the fresh mountain air. Here at the peak, you're at the top of the world looking down. Enjoy this sacred space. Lay down, feel the ground. are ready, come back to the present moment. Wiggle the fingers and the toes. Stretch the arms and the legs. Really stretch that body. Whatever feels good for you now, in this moment, in this time. Yawn if you need to. Go ahead and turn over to the right or to the left as I read to you a quote from the spiritual leader of the Mayans, Grandfather Alejandro. I quote, the very walls that crumble down around you are the very walls that imprison you. You are here to learn from experiences that will ultimately lead to enrichment and evolution of the soul. Conclusion, my interpretation of this, quote, you don't need a physical church, temple, school, studio, gym, to expand your soul and learn how to properly balance the body, the mind, and the soul. So until then, when we finally can return to the studio, I encourage you to continue your practice, continue to evolve your body, your mind, your soul, connecting it. It's personal development, but it's also spiritual development, and it's, it's vital for the soul and it's also a vital connection to keep you healthy on all levels. So we will end our practice with a minute of meditation. At the sound of the bell, we begin.
Inhale, bring the arms overhead. Exhale, prayer position to the heart center. And always remember, each day is a gift. So have the attitude of gratitude. And in this period of the pandemic, truly your health is your greatest wealth. So stay healthy, stay safe. The light in me honors the light in you. Namaste. Thank you for coming to the practice today online and encourage others to join so that we can all heal one person at a time. It is a difficult time now during the pandemic, a lot of stress and unknowns. So if you want to share the app, please do share it with your friends and family. They can be in Canada, they could be in Asia, it doesn't matter. They can take this class now online. All right, hi everyone, and I hope you enjoyed the class. Bye everyone, take care.